What if your phone could run the same powerful system as your computer? No limits, no bloatware, just freedom. That's the promise of Linux on phones, a movement that's slowly turning the smartphone industry on its head. While Apple and Android dominate the market, Linux is quietly preparing its next big leap. But can it really change the way we use our phones forever? Let's find out. Linux phones are built on one powerful idea, freedom. Unlike Android or iOS, which lock you into their ecosystems, Linux gives you complete control over your device. You can customize every layer of the system, from the interface and kernel to the applications themselves. There's no pre-installed bloatware, no hidden trackers, and no forced updates you didn't ask for. You decide what runs on your phone and how it behaves. Projects like Ubuntu Touch, Postmarket OS, and Mobian are at the forefront of this revolution. They allow you to take old hardware and breathe new life into it, or even run the same system on your phone, tablet, and desktop. For developers, Linux phones are a dream. Open, hackable, and endlessly flexible. For privacy enthusiasts, they're a breath of fresh air in a world dominated by surveillance-based ecosystems. This isn't just about having another operating system, it's about owning your technology. With Linux, your phone becomes truly yours. You're not renting access from a company. You're controlling your digital life on your own terms. That's the kind of power and independence the smartphone industry has been missing for far too long. One of the most revolutionary ideas behind Linux on phones is convergence, the ability to turn your smartphone into a full-fledged computer. Imagine plugging your phone into a monitor, connecting a keyboard and mouse, and suddenly you're working in a complete Linux desktop environment. No emulation, no compromise. Just the same system running seamlessly across devices. This vision is already becoming reality with devices like the PinePhone, Librem 5, and the Fairphone running Ubuntu Touch. These phones can switch between mobile and desktop modes effortlessly, allowing users to run desktop-grade apps, access terminals, and even code or edit videos right from their phone. It's a huge leap toward a truly unified digital experience, one device for everything. For professionals and power users, convergence eliminates the need to juggle between a laptop, tablet, and phone. For everyday users, it means less hardware waste, fewer data sync issues, and more control over personal information. Linux's versatility makes this dream possible, something proprietary systems have never fully achieved. It's the future of computing in your pocket, portable, powerful, and perfectly personal. Despite its promise, Linux on phones still faces several major challenges before it can compete with Android or iOS. The biggest issue is app support. Most popular apps, from social media to productivity tools, are built for Android and iOS ecosystems, leaving Linux users to rely on web versions or open source alternatives. This limits adoption among casual users who depend on mainstream apps every day. Hardware compatibility is another hurdle. Linux distributions must adapt to a wide range of devices, chipsets, and drivers, many of which are locked down by manufacturers. As a result, performance, battery life, and camera quality can vary dramatically between devices. Then there's the user experience. Linux mobile interfaces are improving fast, but they still lack the polish, optimization, and ecosystem integration that Android and iOS have refined over years. However, the open source community is moving quickly. Developers are creating better app stores, improving touch-friendly interfaces like Fosh and Plasma Mobile, and optimizing software for smoother performance. The growing demand for privacy and transparency gives Linux a strong edge. It may take time, but if history has shown anything, it's that open source innovation always finds a way forward. Linux phones represent more than just another operating system. They represent digital independence. It's a glimpse into a future where you truly own your device and your data. Whether Linux on phones becomes mainstream or not, one thing's clear. The movement has already begun, and it's only getting stronger.